Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronnie, and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. So, I've already done a, one video today, so if you see a video before this one with this shirt or outfit, it is because I'm filming on the same day. I just had a little bit of extra time, so I thought I'd go ahead and get a couple of videos done very quickly. Now, the first video that I had done or filmed was my June favorites uh, for 2018. I will link that above. That way you can watch it after you get to watching this video, of course. And now stick around. There's all kinds of goodies on my channel that you definitely want to check out. But enough of that. Uh, so, uh, well, kind of get this fixed. This is a little romper. Um, if you watch the other video, I'll explain all about why I'm wearing this, why I look this way. Me and my kids went and hung out with my mom for a few hours today. It was really, really hot, so we went swimming, and that's why this mess is going on. But we'll go ahead and start with the video. So today, I thought I would go ahead and film part two of my Shop Miss A haul. Uh, I'll link the Shop Miss A, the first video above. And basically, I just showed a little bit of goodies from HIP, but now this is going to be the really, really good video. So today, I am going to actually be showcasing the new blushes and highlighters from uh, Shop Miss A, the AOA studio. I did order, at the time, all the blushes and all the highlighters. It's a little bit much. And then, for some reason, I decided to get more highlighters. I don't know. It's summertime. I really want to look dewy, healthy, you know, radiant and not have a whole lot of makeup on. So, I've got that, I've got a little bit of brushes, and even a necklace that I'm going to show. So, we'll go ahead and we'll start with the necklace. This is what it does look like. So, as you can see, it's a pretty long necklace. Now, everything from Shop Miss A is right around a dollar. And some things are a little bit more expensive, but this is a triangle at the end, and then of course, you know, it's got like the little beads here. This is really, really pretty. I really like this. And then we have the, did I show you this in the other video? I can't remember. But anyways, this is the Wonder Fake, Wonder, wait. Sponge, makeup sponge, makeup sponge. And it does say that it is precise right here. Now, I really like this one. I've not used it. As you can see, I wanted to show it before I used it. It does have bev beveled edges kind of here and at the bottom as well. This would be really good for your under eye baking. And of course, you know, you could always chisel out your jaw as well. I don't usually bake, but I got this for $8. It's really, really soft. thought I would give it a shot. I've seen other YouTubers do it and Obviously, I need all the help I can get as far as anything with makeup goes. Then, we'll go ahead and go, since we're doing the theme with brushes, or not theme, but I'll go ahead and show the other items I got as well. This is their AOA Studio Ova Brushes. It's a five piece. So, what this means is that this was, I think, a pop out item. Which means it was five dollars and fifty-five cents. So you get five brushes though, and usually a brush on their website is a dollar unless you get like a bundle. And this is five dollars and fifty cents. You can use this for uh, foundation, blush, bronzer, highlighter, eyeshadow, and lipstick. I don't think I would use one of these as a lipstick, but if you do want to see a tutorial with these, just let me know. I'll be happy to do that. I'm not going to take these out, but they are really soft. I've got a lot of things to get through, and I'm not going to have I try to have this video like a million minutes long. So we will start with the blushes, I guess. We like I said, I've got not only the Halo highlighters, they're baked ones. <laughs> I've also got these from Yumi Muse, and as you can see in the background, the liquid illuminate. I've got a couple of them too. So we'll go ahead and I'll go through all of them here in just a little bit. I want to start with the blushes. They are some gorgeous, gorgeous blushes. Very, very pretty. Looks like, uh, you know, a little bit for everybody. But I'll go through these, swatch them real quickly, and then we'll go on to the highlighters. So this is the Delicate Pink color. 
and each one of them is different than the pre than any other because they're somehow or another they're all baked with different colors or something so no one is actually the same so this is what it looks like very very pretty so I mean they are really really pretty and they're very pigmented too so that again is delicate pink this is frantic pink and this is the color and they have such beautiful patterns in them as well some you can probably see a little bit better like that it's definitely a brighter pink like that's it. I hope this is coming across on camera I need to work on my lighting I know I want to do it outside but it's like 95 degrees here and there's no way I can do that outside and not melt uh, this is the Ravish. And this is a gorgeous color. Now, if I don't use these for blushes, I might use them for eyeshadows. I think these would be like really pretty, just kind of like shimmery eyeshadows. This is Sin. And this is a darker one. I would definitely use that one. This one right here, this is Sin. I would love to use that as an eyeshadow. And I think it would be, I mean, that is just one swap. And it's gorgeous. That would be such a beautiful eye. Just an all over lid color. Then we have uh, Rose Dawn, which is really pretty. Kind of has hints of goat in this one with pink. So yeah, this is very pretty. Do it here. And again, just one swap on all of them. They're gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And if they're too dark, as you use as a blush, you can always use it maybe as like a contour or eyeshadow again. Then we have uh, so close, so close, and yet so far away. This is what it looks like. Now this would be a pretty blush. It is this one here. Okay. This is Golden Apricot. It is this one right here. Like I said, you know, they're very pigmented, very pretty. And we're on our last one. This is going to be wine. So that's what it looks like. Just a gorgeous color as well. And here is the swatch. Ooh, that's pretty. So there are all the blushes that I did order and you know some of them's a little bit dark for me to use as a blush but it would be really really pretty as an eyeshadow I might even try to use like this one maybe as a contour yeah. and just my own looks weird so as you see all those blushes were very pigmented and there is only a dollar and you do get eight grams, wait, point eight grams. It's either eight grams or point eight grams. I'm not really sure. It's very, very tiny back there. Um, but again, just you know, beautiful colors. Really like them. Now for the highlighters, and I am a sucker for a really good highlighter. I like blushes, um, but. These highlighters, I swear, they take the cake. It's gorgeous. We will, I'm going to start with the liquid illuminator, illuminators, illuminators, yeah, illuminators. I was only able to get two. Um, this is in the color, do, 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 what color are you? Is it Godlust? Oh, Godlust. Yeah. Um, 
it does say the now these are by Muse Cosmetics. These are the Liquid Illuminate Pro Gold Lust. So this does say that you get a lightweight liquid glow that gives skin a youthful glow and a beautiful highlight. So it is in a squeezy too. And I'm going to go ahead and just go with that amount. So it's not very sheer, but it is pigmented. That's what it looks like. Can you see my hair? I see these. There you go. It's just gorgeous. I mean, you could use that kind of like just by itself, and I believe it would just be a beautiful highlight, and that would give you such a radiant glow. It's gorgeous. Now, I think this would look better, or not necessarily better. I think this would, you know, look good on like any skin color, but it is more of a darker color than this one. This is the gold or the sor sorbet. Yes, same thing. And you do get 0.51 fluid ounces in these. These are only a dollar. They did have quite a few different colors. Again, they're in just a little squeezy tube. And that's how much I'm going to go with. Just like a drop. I think you could probably use these as eyeshadows, eyeshadows, yeah, eyeshadows, and they would give just like a really good, like a really pretty sheen on your eyes, and it'd be like perfect for some, especially kind of like this, the uh, sorbet, but it's just, it's light, it's light-ish, um, I mean, you can obviously see the Gold Lust quite a bit better, but the Sorbet is very pigmented as well, just a gorgeous color. The other two are from uh, Muse as well. These are just more like the pan highlights. I uh, got two of these. This one is a highlighter. What color is you? I don't know, I can't find them there, let me look here. It has no names, it just has numbers. One is number two, and one is number three. Okay, so this is number two. And these are pretty buttery. Okay, I'm going to do it here. When I first put it on, it was a little bit kind of like crumbly, but as you can see, it's just a beautiful color. And in this, you do get 18, 18 ounces or 5 grams in this. And it, you know, they did, I don't know, did they have a, they might have had like a little brush there. I don't know because it's not in there, but this is really pretty. Uh, then the number three is more of a like a peach color, and this is more kind of like a lighter color. But this is number three. Go ahead and swatch it. So again, just beautiful colors, and they are just a little bit crumbly. But, I mean, they're for a dollar. I'm not really going to complain because as long as I can work with it and they're not really too hard to blend and the pigment is there, I definitely think it's worth it for a dollar. Now, next is the highlighters from Shop Miss A, ALA Studio. This is their Halo Highlighters. We'll start with Sunstone. This is what it looks like. Go ahead and swatch it. Again, swatch is really good. And some of these are real pretty. This is in the shade Blissful. That's gorgeous. That is kind of like a, I don't know, kind of like an icy for me, kind of like an icy toned. And then we have a couple more. This is in Allure. I think I'm saying it right. 
but this is the color. And here is the swatch. Again, you know, it's pretty pigmented, um, but you can definitely, it kind of has a similar tone to Blissful. I mean, these are baked highlighters, though, so that's what they look like. And they kind of look the same to me, but I like them both. Then we have a amore or a more amore. That's how I want to pronounce it. This is the color. As you can see, it's got streaks of white mixed in with pink. Very pretty. This is probably one of my favorite ones because it's just so pretty. And as you can see, oops, my bad. Here. Is more red. Don't do air last two. This is in the color Love Lust. Now, to me, that's a little dark for a highlighter. I think it could be more maybe of like a blush tone color. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Mm, running out of real estate. Did I put something there? Okay, so we're going to go put it here. See, I mean, it's just got more of a blushed uh, tint to it, but it's pretty. I mean, to me, I would probably wear it as a blush, even though I've got a million blushes now, thanks to Shop Miss A. And this is the last one. This is in Desire. <laughs> um, but this is what it looks like. Yep. I don't swatch as well as others. Maybe it's because it's on my elbow. I'm not really sure. And there are, and here is all the swatches of all the highlighters. I've got again. Uh, four was from the Muse. The other ones were from it's a Halo highlighter or uh, AOA Studio. So these are highlighters again it is worth the money i mean they're just a dollar and i don't i think that's a really good price i mean they're very pigmented if you you know go in with a light hand i think you'll be okay but the liquid illuminators are some of my favorites i cannot wait to use those you know uh you could even probably use them under your foundation just to kind of have a help see or glow maybe even a little bit more of a radiant i don't know i'll have to definitely try that out but I just did not want this video to be 89 million minutes, hours long, so that's why I was trying to hurry. Um, but yeah, so I'm very excited to try the fake sponge and the brushes. I'll have to try those with some foundation and things. But thank you so much for watching, and that is it for this video. I am going to try to have a couple more up within the next week or two. But if you like this, just go ahead and like it. Right. If you like this type of video or want to see more videos like this, just go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. That way you won't miss out on any new videos, vlogs, or anything like that coming up. But thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.